Hello YouTubers, today we're testing uh, the Anchor 2 port IQ type uh, 20 watt dual port iPhone, I iPad, uh, Samsung charger, basically USB charger. So they have the special feature in the, for um, IQ charging which detects what type of device it is and it's supposed to charge quicker so what we'll do is we'll compare it with um, what the um, traditional draw is uh, that we did in, in a previous video with the uh, iPad charger so what we'll do is we'll plug this in and we'll test the different types of cables uh, first, of, first of all We'll try the standard Apple cable with the iPad mini. We'll see what kind of uh, power we get. If it charges any faster. If it charges faster, it should pull more watts. But we're getting the same maximum of 11 watts. So I'm starting to doubt what the you know the, the the marketing of this uh, IQ IQ or so smart charging is capable of charging faster on their website it says it's supposed to charge faster and it tells you how f how much faster it's supposed to charge but it looks like uh, there's a limit to what you can actually draw uh, for a specific device so for the iPad mini it's 11 watts, just like in the other video. Now we're going to try the one foot cable from Z iBay. Still 11 watts. I'm gonna try the cheap cable that we had an issue with with the with the iPad. We know we only had like uh, I think maximum of eight watts. Let's see if we can do any better. Whoa, this is bad. Look, we're getting only two watts. So as Johnny detect the device, I'm trying to jiggle the cable, jiggle the port maybe. This is worse than the Apple charger. The IQ is dumb. Let's see, let me try to connect it again. Ah, look, if I flip it, I get 9 watts. Oh, actually, it stabilizes at 8 watts. So let me try that again. If I unplug it and flip it around, do I get the 2 watts again? Nope. It tries to jump to 9 watts and then it's gonna back off probably to 8 watts. Okay, so same as the um, the Apple charger but uh, notice that we had that one hiccup when we initially plugged it in it was only 2 watts so the IQ didn't work too well that with these cheap cables the last one we're gonna do is the Amazon Basics 6 foot cable and uh, let's see what we get with this one 11 watts so again Amazon is great the quality of the cable is great matches the Apple cable and uh, give you the same output at twice the distance uh, same charging capability at twice the distance so hope you like this video um, again uh, doesn't look like the IQ charging speeds up the charging any 
any more than the regular um, I, uh, the, the regular Apple product, except that it has two ports, so it can do up to 20, 20 watts. So in order to charge uh, two iPads, it will probably be charging at less than optimal, which is 11, will be at 10 watts each instead of uh, um, 11 watts each. So yeah, this is a, uh, I don't, I don't like um, the IQ part. Uh, we saw that uh, it had uh, mistakenly started sending only two watts over the the crappy cable and uh, yeah that's it I mean this other than that uh, the product is okay uh, if you need to charge more than two devices and uh, it's relatively small compared to the iPad charger but it has two ports 20, 20 watts and the uh, Apple charger is 12 watts for the iPad. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video or want me to do any other videos that you want me to compare products, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.